the World Bank's Africa Higher Education Centers of Excellence program has been instrumental in addressing critical development challenges across Africa since its inception in 2014. In Nigeria, the program has established 17 specialized centers of excellence across the country. One such center is the Covenant Applied Informatics and Communication, also known as CAPIC ACE, established in 2018 and hosted by the Covenant University in Nigeria. CAPIC ACE aims to equip the next generation of African scientists and students with vital skills in bioinformatics, molecular biology, information and communication technologies, and genomics, as well as pioneer problem-solving research in the health sector, focusing on critical health areas such as malaria, prostate cancer, breast cancer, and cloud computing. CAPIC ACE was uh, established basically to provide uh, postgraduate training for students and also to improve applied research in the areas that are mentioned, that is malaria, uh, cancer, specifically prostate and uh, breast uh, cancer. And the overriding aim is uh, to help in building uh, the critical uh, needed manpower you know, for research in Africa, especially in these critical areas of malaria, uh, prostate, breast cancer, and cloud computing uh, that will help in uh, moving the economic growth of uh, Africa. According to the World Health Organization, cancer is the second leading cause of death globally, accounting for 10 million deaths in 2020, with the majority of these deaths occurring in low- and middle-income countries. In Africa, around 1.1 million new cases arise each year, resulting in approximately 700,000 deaths. Projections indicate that, without urgent interventions, cancer mortality on the continent could reach nearly 1 million deaths annually by 2030. Despite these alarming statistics, most research institutions in Africa prioritize infectious diseases such as dengue fever, malaria, yellow fever, and cholera with limited attention given to cancer. However, CAPIC ACE has emerged as one of the few institutions on the continent dedicated to cancer research, specifically sequencing cancer genomes and establishing a world-class facility to advance cancer research in Africa. There are a couple of milestones that we have achieved. One is a setting up of this laboratory that we are now you can use to sequence you know, you know, cancer uh, you know, genes. Uh, importantly, this laboratory is equipment with end-to-end -end facility to do core cancer genomics from sample prep to library prep to sequencing because we now have Illumina sequencer. Looking at that, we've now, you know, with that facility, we can't just keep it in house. We're now working with our partners to do patient recruitment so that we can have samples from within our population. The center's remarkable work in cancer research gained massive recognition, resulting in a partnership with the Nigerian government. The Nigerian government established uh, through the Act of Parliament and now established the Nigerian Institute for Cancer Research and Treatment. And we're now working with them to provide you know, sequencing for breast and prostate cancer patients, to particularly identify those that can benefit from targeted therapy from pap -E. What you know, our students and research assistants are working on is that they are processing samples that we have collected through this partnership. In the area of malaria research, the center has set up a modern laboratory that is fully equipped with the necessary tools to ensure high-quality research output. Another area of research that we also do here is that we uh, characterize plasmodial falciparum. So from blood samples that are obtained from persons who are malaria positive, we get the plasmodium and then we characterize you know, the different types of plasmodium that they are carrying. We check for infectivity rates. We also check for resistance markers to anti-malarials that are used routinely in the treatment of malaria. 
in Nigeria. Leveraging its cutting edge facilities, Capic Ace has made significant advancement in health research. Capic Ace is equipped with world class facilities, including seven state of the art laboratories focused on the development of cutting edge tools and strategies to improve the detection and treatment of malaria and cancer, advancing cancer genomics research, discovering and developing new anti malarial and anti cancer drugs repurposing existing drugs, studying malaria parasites and cancer biology, and providing high-performance computing resources for students, researchers and academics in cancer, malaria and information and communication engineering. Currently, we have a lab called Fergen Test Lab, and we are using an open source uh, application in developing this cloud computing infrastructure. And the essence for that is for researchers to be able to carry out our research as relates to cloud computing and then other apps that will be coming up in the course of uh, this project. The center is well equipped with furnished halls and office spaces for its students and staff, along with a fully equipped ICT laboratory. Ace had in truly been a blessing to us here in Covenant University. It has helped us to increase our infrastructural development even as a university. Aside that, it has helped to increase our internationalization as a university. Our center has been able to increase postgraduate students' enrollment uh, in the university. Our center has increased the intake of international students in the center. We have improved uh, digital learning in the institution. We have increased uh, the number of uh, postgraduate students that have graduated from our institution. With the coming of ACE, this, the programs were expedited at the master's and uh, PhD level. And to us, this is a great one for us because we got the accreditation, national accreditation by the National Universities Commission for our biochemistry program, for masters, MPhil and PhD, the programs also for computer science, the one also for other programs that are being run here at Covenant University under the ACE program. In terms of community engagement, the center has organized several training activities for its neighboring communities, mainly on malaria and cancer. Immediately, the capital came to the adult local government um, to enlighten us. So I was able to impart that knowledge into my people. So anywhere, anywhere it's like empty, anywhere I go, you uh, tell them about uh, the success story. And they, are, they, they have been able uh, you, uh, you uh, train the trainer. When I train them, because those people that attend the meeting, they are also a leader in their own capacity. They will go back to their community development association to impart that knowledge to them. So thereby, it goes. So I have benefited, and my people also they have benefited. The impacts that, that these uh, outreaches have created amongst the community persons, they've always longed to be tested and to an extent, the center has initiated um, um, some measures to get the, uh, the community, men and female, tested either for breast cancer or prostate cancer. First, by distributing questionnaires to see the more de to harvest more data from them and performing some form of test. Capic Ace has academic and sectoral partners, both at the regional and global levels. Its academic partners include Lagos State University, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, University of Nigeria in Suka, and others. The center's sectoral partners are Nkaba Biotech Industries Limited, Bayer AG Pharma in Germany, Microsoft Incorporation, Omega Diagnostics, and others. Some of our key uh, industry partners include the uh, Ace Medicare, which is about the biggest uh, private medical setup here in our environment. 
case in, since the 2018 when it was introduced to us. Uh, before then we've had uh, a history of collaboration with the Covenant University so it was very easy when the Capri case came on board. I, I have the conviction that uh, the quality of the students uh, is good. I've uh, witnessed uh, their research uh, proposition uh, defense twice. I was there twice physically and uh, I listened to them uh, presenting their research uh, work and I think uh, it's of good quality. Our scientists have come up with uh, uh, new biomolecules, small molecules that can be developed into anti-malaria drugs. Some of these, uh, you know, uh, discoveries are still at the, you know, phase of uh, screening and testing on in vivo and in vitro models before we can scale it up to, uh, you know, uh, clinically useful uh, products. CAPIC Ace fosters a diverse learning environment, welcoming international students from across Africa, including Cameroon. Benin Republic, Ghana, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Tanzania. When I came to Kobani University, I did not go through the normal application like all other students because uh, KPK Center had already prepared a route for our application process. It was an amazing for me, and I, I think uh, I, I enjoy being here. Additionally, the center fosters academic growth through scholarships and other funding opportunities. This includes the CAPIC ACID grant program established in 2023. Covenant University, yeah, it's a very good place. They have the facilities and the environment, but looking at the cost, most people cannot have afford it. So this center has actually provided that opportunity for people with financial constraints to actually um, benefits in a conducive environment like this and the facilities and also meeting with top-notch lecturers and getting the required knowledge to be successful. I really had expectations when I came to Covenant University. The time when I was applying for scholarship, I had another opportunity at Adam Meskevich University and just days after I received CAPICES, I chose CAPICES because of their program. They said they were training African students for excellence. I was so at attracted to that excellent. I wanted to know what is that excellent. So when I was coming, I was, expecting, I was expecting excellence in research, excellence in leadership, and those expectations have been met actually because KPK has a robust laboratory platform. Uh, I keyed into that and today I am a student leader through KPK. So I think that my expectations are all met and even beyond because I see myself, I've gone for uh, workshops out of Nigeria, thanks to Capicus, but that was what I never thought they could give to me. My program is being sponsored, I live in a, a, an apartment being paid by Capicus, and I have a monthly stipend being paid by Capicus. My family will have never, will never send me to Covenant University if I never had this opportunity from Capicus. This program allows students to compete for grants with successful applicants receiving 2,500 US dollars to bolster and promote their research pursuit. Having this mindset that anything we do, we have to create value and also generate products. So the center has also helped me to actually achieve my dream of pursuing my doctorate degree. By providing a full-time scholarship, that's in also in a conducive environment like this, providing the facilities and also sponsoring my research work. In addition, our students that are from Francophone countries, we also give um, English um, training for them. And this had helped them. Some of them, when they came on campus, they couldn't express themselves in English. So after going through a three months uh, um, English training course with us, a number of them very well could express themselves in English. And uh, this had been a plus for them because now they can write their own journal, they can write their own publication, and, and uh, with little or no some um, mentorship from their supervisor. The center takes pride in its alumni, as most of them have secured employment with industry or are actively excelling in academia. 
I was able to learn collaborative skills during my research in the university at Capicase, we're taught, even before we even started our research, we're taught on how to collaborate well with our peers and our lecturers, our professors. So I was basically taught collaborative skills, leadership skills, and excellent communication skills. And um, I think one of the best things that I learned from the center is the possibility mentality um, skills, which um, is from the university down to the center. Uh, about uh, over 90 of them, have been mobilized and supported by the center to complete their internships in some of these uh, industries. Malaria is a global health issue and an estimated 247 million. The experience, the exposure, not just research, but also, you know, having to collaborate with other researchers, you know, and having to, because I mean, uh, my work involved interdisciplinary uh, approach. I used bioinformatics, you know, I used um, molecular biology, microbiology, you know. So this has actually, you know, exposed me to how to really collaborate, you know, with other researchers. The center's internship opportunities extend beyond Nigeria, with placement facilitated in institutions across the globe, including Switzerland, Germany, the United Kingdom, the United States, and Cameroon. Our center has a clear-cut strategy to build capacity of our postgraduate students and uh, our young uh, faculty in the area of uh, innovation and uh, entrepreneurship uh, so that they can you know, translate their research into tangible products and also you know, begin to come up with startup companies you know, that can help to improve the economic strength of Africa uh, through creation of uh, jobs. The center offers training opportunities to master's and PhD students. They are master's and PhD in bioinformatics, computer science, biochemistry, microbiology, information and communication engineering, and chemoinformatics. The center has trained 169 students since 2018 with 124 being master's students and 45 being PhD students. Notably, female students comprise a significant portion of the student body, accounting for 92, while males make up 77. Additionally, CAPIC A's extends its reach beyond degree programs by offering short courses in various fields. It has so far trained 350 students in molecular biology and cancer genomics cloud computing and high-performance computing, introductory bioinformatics workshop, malaria vector management and control, and malaria epidemiology, prevention and treatment. Everybody, both the national students, people from Nigeria and other West African countries that would like to join CAPICASE, that CAPICASE is actually a stepping stone to greatness. The potential students, I would say, they should stay focused because this center will actually nurture you to become who you want to be. And the center is driven towards excellence. They will make you to become the best of yourself.